are at Rogelio's Saturday morning and we are interviewing Bill Huddleston. He's about to have himself an awesome breakfast. I bring the experience of actually of two careers. Uh, before I started with the Hayes County Law Enforcement uh, Sheriff's Office, over 20 years ago, I was a building contractor. I, I was a business owner. So I bring the experience of administration and management, uh, but also bring a full career in law enforcement as well. Big budgets, comprehensive and realistic budgets, and maintain those budgets because we all know that in the real world, failure to maintain a budget comes out of your own hip pocket. It hurts. So you learn your skill sets really well. You can't. These are skill sets that are not developed with law enforcement experience alone. Well, if, if elected sheriff, you would definitely have a huge uh, em employee roster. So you feel that uh, your business has transla translated into the type of experience to manage that, that large of a de department? Absolutely. General contractor for uh, commercial construction. And we didn't do one job at a time. We, we had multiple projects going. And I was able, uh, I developed skill sets to not only supervise but to supervise supervisors with multiple projects. Uh, and you know, you are absolutely right. There's, a, there's about 300 people over at the sheriff's office. We have such a depth of talent over there. And those people have experience and knowledge and have earned the right to be trusted. They don't need to be micromanaged. They need to be guided. They need to be trusted. The, the good ideas the, the uh, progressive ideas for our Sheriff's Department are not going to come from the top. Because the good ideas are going to come from the, the people that are working there and they're doing the job every day. Somebody needs to listen to them. I was, I've was i been at the Sheriff's Office, uh, started over 20 years ago. I worked for some of the best sheriffs you could, you could ask for. I know what right looks like at the sheriff's office. And I want it to be right again. So I realized that, hey, if I want it to be right there, I need to go make it right. So what are three things that you would immediately go to work on that you feel have been neglected? But, you know, the first thing that comes to my mind is always people. Uh, the, the thing of the beautiful thing about our sheriff's office is that we have such a depth of, of uh, talent and have such wonderful people there. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is start listening to them. I know that uh, there's some things that, you know, I'm not the only one who knows what right looks like. I don't know. The first thing I'm going to do is listen to them. The second thing, obviously, uh, if, you know, the, if we uh, go by the numbers, we've got to take care of the jail. We've got to take care of the jail. You know, it's amazing to me how it deteriorated so fast. Uh, when I was there, uh, before I left, you could see your reflection in the walls. You could, the floors were immaculate. The, the maintenance on that place had been superb. I know that uh, there was some problems with the roof, uh, and that's no one's fault. I'm not blaming it blaming the leaks in the roof. That was uh, a faulty product. But how did it deteriorate so fast? And why can't it be fixed with the people that have maintained it for so long? We have uh, trustees over there. Uh, we have trustees with every trade in the book. We have trustees, plumbers and electricians and everything else. That's the way uh, the, um, the offices, that's the way the old jail, the original jail where I worked, uh, that, that we were using when I was hired here, very, a lot smaller jail. Uh, they moved out of that into the new jail. That was abandoned for several years. You want to talk about mold and rust and leaks. And it was the trustees and it was the, the personnel at the sheriff's department who rebuilt that. And that's being used now as office space and it's pristine. It's pristine. It, the police 
officers here in San Marcos uh, have sponsored a football program for years. And it is, it's magnificent, it's wonderful. I'd like to see that expanded out into the county and I'd like for the sheriff's office to, to uh, sponsor that or be a major player in that because uh, the, the lives of the football players, you know, the lives of the kids that have been touched through that football program and, and if it works in football, it might work in some other sports as well. I really appreciate uh, your time, you know, for this interview, sir. Uh, and I wish you uh, the best of luck on your, on your race. Well, thank you. Thank you, sir. This is Daniel Scales for San Marcos News Live.